Yo, what is up guys? So for today, we're going to be talking about Destiny 2. Now specifically, I'm going to be showing you the armor from the new raid, the Deepstone Crypt. And honestly, uh, man, I don't know what it is. I'm not a big fan of it personally. Maybe it looks better on males, but let's talk about it. Uh, if you guys have any thoughts, comments, or concerns, let me know in the comments below. But me, honestly, not a big fan of it. So let's look at the helmet real quick. I think the helmet would have been really cool if it didn't have this weird thing here and that's really it honestly i think the whole facet is really cool this makes it look really weird and it does shade it really well at least the helmet does the helmet does really shade it really well it looks really cool but again my main issue is this part right here just looks weird like honestly i know it's a, like supposed to be like a rebreather or something but it just feels weird. It makes it look too human, which is weird, or not too human, mm, kind of. Uh, yeah, not a big fan of it. Other than that, though, like I look, I like it all, honestly. Next part is the arms, and honestly, from here on out, aside from the mark, it suffers from the same things that I said about the the hunter. The fact that it has glowing bits, but it doesn't change color, unfortunately. So. If you're not a big fan of purple, then unfortunately you're probably not going to wear these sets because there's a lot of purple, there's a lot of whites, and it's unfortunate because it would have been really cool if we could change the color of the lights. That way we could have had like some something glow that we could change colors of. But again, it's going to get to a point where just none of that can change color or at least the you see that none of that can change color which is unfortunate i will always say it's unfortunate because it really is like it, it looks really cool but when you have pieces like this that are that you can't change the color of and they're this like obnoxious then it just for me i just can't wear it this one doesn't have any glowy bits but it does have pieces that you can't change colors which again like just why like, who are you, a bungee? It's orange here, the orange here, the red here, and the orange here. And that's really it. Uh, honestly, the red pieces probably wouldn't bother me as much as this big ass red line. <laughs> but yeah, I think the the legs are probably the coolest pieces of it. And it's, it's marred with pieces that you can change into colors. And I'm just like, bro, that's unfortunate. The mark is probably the only piece that I actually genuinely like and have no real issue with. Like, really? Like, I have no issue with it at all. Uh, I haven't seen the back, though, actually. Oh, yeah, it doesn't change color. That's right. Totally forgot. So, that's unfortunate. Because purple and red do not go together. But I like how it looks. I just, again, am not the biggest fan of the fact that they just decided not to have that change color again aside aside from the helmet each piece has a piece or pieces that don't change color so let's show you how it all shaders together oh that red red damn that sucks and i know a lot of people are just probably like oh you're nitpicking i i personally don't like it like especially when i'm really into like that like that level of like can i really make pieces look really good together pink pink orange red 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 and then white with red red white and then red like there's just too many colors that are clashing with each other and i don't want that to happen because me personally like i said when i'm trying to make something look cool i want to be able to control all the colors this does not let me control colors so that's just it fucking sucks, dude. It honestly sucks. Like, this this shader looks really good with it, but there's just way too many that, like, this line just not needed, my guy. And if, if you wanted that line, make it, just let me change the color. Just unfortunate, honestly. Like, <sighs> would I wear this armor piece if, like, would I wear all of this armor if it didn't have that? Probably, actually. A lot of the times... There's a lot of stuff like armor pieces that I would wear just because they look really fucking cool. And there's only been like one piece of armor that I've like legit like I'm going to ignore that because this armor looks so cool. It's been uh, this right here. Uh, no, that's weapons. That's not armor. 
it's in world and it's this one right here this has been one of my favorite legs that bungie's ever released for titans because it looks really fucking cool and i ignored the yellow because the yellow doesn't change color either guys like i have a like this is not new man i can tell you pieces of armor that just do not have pieces or that have pieces that you can't change colors to which actually i probably should make a video of that but i'm just sick and tired of bungie releasing cool looking armor but just having one piece of like thing that you can't change the color of i'm getting so sick and tired of it because like why bro fucking why so that's really it let me know your thoughts in the comments below do you like the armor let me know in the comments below that's really it i'm not gonna make this video longer than it really should be because i don't like to do that so let me know your thoughts in the comments below if you guys want to follow me on my social media outlets links are in the description below thank you everyone for the constant support it's it's really wild currently as of making this video we are at 890 subscribers and i'm really thankful for it because you guys are honestly helping me achieve my goals and it's dope it really is so i will see you guys later be safe guys you know what's happening in the world and i will see you guys later